Hello, I'm Roger, and I'm here with Chip Dog, and we are coming to you from the high desert of central New Mexico. You are watching Multiple Sclerosis, the monster inside me, my story. Hello, and welcome back. Today is Monday, December 6th. I want to say hello to all my warrior friends out there. Uh, thank you for tuning in and watching the show. I appreciate that. Uh, of course, we have Gandalf in the background, my African Grey. He always decides it's time to make noise when I turn on the camera. Crazy bird. So, uh, it's been almost three weeks since my last show. Uh, I was a little bit out of it on that show. I, I would be the first one to admit. And I never really explained my uh, surgery that I had and what that was all about. So, I'm going to go ahead and, and do that now. Um, of course, after my second brain surgery, I had a leakage of uh, cerebral spinal fluid into my head and it just ended up being like a freaking water balloon. Uh, after eight weeks, uh, we went in and, and tried to fix it. It didn't work. So uh, it kept on leaking. So the last uh, thing to do, I guess, was to put a shunt in my head and that's what it's called is a shunt. It's right here. And there's a tube that goes from here down between my skull and the lining of my brain where all that fluid is collecting and it gets drawn up through this there's a um, ball valve right here and the ball valve drains the fluid down behind my ear uh, through my neck and it comes across my collarbone right here and ends up down in my belly and that is to drain the fluid out of my head and since that was installed uh, I've noticed a dramatic change in, in the fluid and problems with my head is not near as bad as it was and so that was the goal is to try to uh, correct that. Um, I had a doctor's visit since my last uh, since my last show and it was good news and and we were talking about having a fifth surgery uh, but it looks like the plate in the back of my head has receded itself back into the original position. Uh, my skin is tied up against it and uh, after speaking to the doctor, it looked like probably not going to need a fifth surgery to correct that. Although I'll find out for sure because I have an appointment next Monday uh, with Dr. Carlson and we'll, I guess, figure out a plan. I got to do an MRI, I think, the week after that. And I'm sure we'll be talking about removing the rest of this uh, brain tumor that I have. Um, uh, in the end, you know, I still have the tumor. Going to have to deal with that. Uh, I've had uh, you know five major brain events with my head, four of them being surgeries. One of them, I bumped my head really hard and after putting things together and what was going on, I'm sure I gave myself a concussion. So we're going to count five traumatic brain events uh, since June 28. And uh, I think that since I'm sitting here and talking, uh, I feel fortunate uh, that things have gone okay. Like I said, though, still gotta still gotta deal with the uh, with the tumor. Um, now looking at my uh, my MS issues, uh, on Friday four days ago, I took a nasty fall. I was in my recliner, uh, just kicking back, taking a kind of a short nap, snooze a little bit, and I was gonna get up out of my recliner to get something to drink. My left foot I noticed was numb, like it was asleep. So I got up and put my right my weight on my right foot and that my leg was more numb than the left one and so I rolled my ankle and I uh, hit the floor I bruised up my elbow skinned up my arm and my ankle that I rolled is all black and blue and swollen uh, I guess if there's a good side to anything since I have a lot of numbness down there it doesn't hurt near as bad as it should <clears throat> uh, but it's been a yeah it's been a tough couple of days just haven't felt well just trying to recover from the fall um, in the future, I have an appointment with my neurosurgeon next Monday. I just talked about that. Then uh, an MRI between, I think, Christmas and New Year's. And uh, we're going to have to figure out plans to um, cut this tumor out. And from what we've been talking about, and I think I probably mentioned it, is a gamma knife. And they'll go, because this part of this tumor is growing into my brain. And they'll have to go through and, and cut it out the best they can. Uh, last word was it wasn't growing, we cut off all the blood supply to it, so it's not growing, it's just there. They'll cut it off and it'll end up just be kind of floating in my head. It won't be, 
it won't be removed, which is uh, pretty crazy. Uh, a little bit more about the ball valve in my head here. One of my questions to the doc was, I know ball valves are adjustable. How do we adjust it? Well, he came in later on that day after the surgery with a magnet and they touched it with a magnet and they can adjust it. Right now it's on a sitting of four. Whatever that means, I don't know. Uh, it controls the flow of fluid uh, from my head down into my gut. And it all passes through this ball valve right here. Interesting technology, I was really overthinking it. How are they gonna adjust it? But it's as simple as a magnet. So uh, that's pretty much where I'm at, where I'm at today. Uh, Still struggling, you know, every day is, is a challenge. It's a 50-50 coin toss, whether I'm gonna feel like doing anything or not. Uh, mornings are always toughest for me. I uh, got up this morning, and didn't feel like doing anything, and after a walk with Chip Dog, uh, we went out and uh, got back and had, a little, had the blood going and had a little more energy. Uh, so I decided to go ahead and sit down and do this, because it's been a few weeks, like I said, and it was, it was time to get back on. I believe this is episode 14 which is, I never thought I would get this far with this many episodes, but people like it. And uh, it gives me something to do and something to talk about. Uh, one of the things I have been looking into is maybe trying to get back to uh, the Rio Rancho Public Schools and doing some volunteering. And I've started the process. I've, I've got my, uh, my fingerprints done and, and they're doing my background check and that'll all be good. Uh, and my daughter Melina brought up a good point because the COVID numbers are so high, do I wanna go back to a school where um, it's unknown how much of the population is vaccinated and uh, I have enough health issues, so uh, just not sure if that's what I wanna do, but I'm setting, I'm setting things up so that if I wanna go back and, and participate and do some of that, I, I can do it, and that way I'm registered with the school and uh, kind of looking forward to that. I, I miss uh, I miss not being there. I miss all my friends. Um, retirement's been a little bit of a shocker to me. Uh, I've always been such a busy person, and, and uh, now that I'm just not feeling well, I'm just not doing a whole lot. So I feel like I need to get out and uh, and do a little something and and be productive. Uh, okay, so moving on here. Uh, my background photo. I told you I was going to talk about my background photos whenever uh, I'm on. This is a photo that was taken in uh, the San Pedro Parks Wilderness. And it's really, really beautiful. This picture, probably about 10,500 feet. And it's probably about four and a half miles in from uh, the starting point, the parking lot. And once you get up into this part of the San Pedro Parks, you see a lot of this park looking stuff and it really opens up and it's just simply spectacular. Once you get up this trail a couple of more miles, you end up getting to the Continental Divide, which is what we were doing when, when this picture was taken. We were heading up to the Continental Divide. Uh, I regret that I probably won't be able to walk this trail again. It's, it's probably out of my future and it really disappoints me because it's such a beautiful area and I just love it up there. Uh, but okay, so um, moving on, uh, some of my shout outs. We're going to do some shout outs today. Uh, I want to give a shout out to my friend Kenneth, and he's also known as the Monster Within. And uh, I know Kenneth struggles, and uh, I hope the best for him. Uh, he's got MS, just crazy, like probably a lot worse than I do. So I really, uh, really would like to reach out to him and, and let him know we're thinking of him. and. Hope things get better for you. Uh, another shout out I want to give out to is my buddy James Blackburn, and uh, he's in my uh, he's in the board game club, and uh, he's got his own YouTube channel, and it's the James Blackburn Experience, and he's been putting out some really cool stuff. He's uh, acts in a lot of the local movies around here, and and uh, he showed some of the stuff in his 10 year anniversary video that was pretty cool. And uh, so I want to give a shout out to him. He's one of my gaming brothers. I appreciate him uh, being a friend and coming and playing games with me. Uh, another person I would like to uh, give a shout out to is a person who left a message on my uh, message board down below. And it is from Shy Guy. And Shy Guy mentioned the fact that his mom has MS as well, which I'm really sorry to hear that, Shy Guy. Um, all you can do is be supportive to your mom and just try to help her any way you can. And when she needs her space, give her her space. 
but other than that, you know, it's a uh, it's a rough thing, and I just wanted to let you know that uh, we're thinking about you and your mom. I know you guys got your hands full. Those of us with MS and and our caregivers, um, man, we couldn't do it without you, you know. And my caregiver somewhat is uh, Melina, my daughter. She helps me out with a lot of stuff, but she also knows when to keep her distance from me, which is uh, a good thing. Uh, other than that, I think I'm going to probably end this episode. If you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, please leave messages down below, and I would be more than happy to return your message and uh, give you a shout out on the next show. Uh, next show, probably a couple weeks out, probably somewhere around Christmas. Uh, I don't do a whole, I don't really celebrate a whole lot of Christmas stuff. It'll be just me and Melina and, and uh, hanging out. And maybe if we're lucky, we'll have a white Christmas and I'll show a picture of that. I know the weather's supposed to get nasty here the next few days and start getting cold. It does get cold here in the high desert, for sure. Um, but other than that, I want to thank everyone for uh, tuning in and watching uh, Multiple Sclerosis, The Monster Inside Me. This is my story. Thank you for watching.